Before I start, hello Neve. Hello indeed, uh, welcome to a new video. Neve is my niece and this is her cat, which um, I'm painting. Um, <clears throat> she's a tiny little tiny person um, and this painting was actually for a mum. Um, so let me talk about it. This cat is called Otis. He is a Maine Coon Cross. Um, what does that mean? It means he's bloody massive and bloody furry. So when it came to painting him, the first thing I had to do was, okay, let's get rid of some of that fur because I'm not painting all that fluff because it would take forever and ever and ever. So what I did, um, I took the uh, photograph um, and whacked the contrast up really high um, and that takes out all the shadow. Um, so I took out any fur that was in the shadow and just played with three layers of tone to make Otis Fluffy. Um, as you know, this is a bit out of my wheelhouse. Most of the stuff I do is pop arty. Um, this is still pop art in uh, style, but not sensibility, obviously. So I was thinking of it as more of like a lion. Uh, lion King, Simba, um, a battle cat. I really wanted to paint it green with some nice orange stripes. Um, so when I thought of it in a uh, popular culture way, then that's how I approach this painting. Um, as I said, I took out most of the fluff because there was so much of it. Um, and has I have this sort of painting that is, um, how would you put it? Sort of, it's various shapes to make up his face, opposed to there being a form. Uh, each shape is creating him. The form is not there. The actual form of his head, uh, the, the, the shape of the skull is not in the painting. The painting is just flat with him coming out of it. I guess, think Nosferatu coming out of the shadows, but a big fluffy cat. Uh, now, Maine Coon Cross. I, I don't know a lot about Maine Coons, as I said. Um, but they are probably easier to paint than normal cats because they've got such, uh, sort of this feral lion face, which makes it uh, a very, very strong bone structure and very strong features, which actually makes it a bit easier. Uh, the eyes are massive. The, uh, the, the muzzle is lion-like, which makes it cool. So um, what can I say about it? Bar, there's lots of fluff. Um, I did lots of swirls and spirals to represent the curls and the waves in his hair. Um, yeah, greys again, of course. Um, this is pre mixed. I pre mix all the greys in acrylic paint um, and then tone it up and down, adding white and black and sometimes a bit of blue. Um, I believe the paint is a mix of Liquitex and Pebio. Pebio? I'm not sure I pronounced that. Um, I use a lot of Liquitex um, and it comes out pretty well. Not a bad paint at all. Um, the black is in golden, which is my favorite color. Golden, the brand, not golden, the color. Golden black is just so nice to use. Um, so let's talk about the painting. Uh, la, 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 la. What can we say? Ears, eyes, nose. That's about all. Um, there's lots and lots of detail. So at the end, I went in with this Posca pen just to refine everything, just to get the lines that are, you can do with a paintbrush, but it's easy just to get out of your pen. Um, the pen, the ink or the paint inside of it works just as well. Um, and there he roughly is. I think he's looking, I mean, he looks really cool. Even, um, you know, I know this is not the type of thing I normally do, so I hope you don't mind this type of video, but I really enjoy painting this Maine Coon, this Otis. Um, and there he is. Um, I think this may be the second cat I've ever painted. And so that's it. I've only ever painted two cats. And this one was bloody great. The last one was bloody great. I like painting cats. Maybe I need to make it a bit more poppy. I may have put a bit of, like I say, battle cat. But there he is, Otis. I hope you like this video, Neve. Um, I shall see you, uh, you know, probably the weekend for dinner or something. Bye!